so welcome back to the channel so in today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up a planted aquarium i'm going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step on how to do so we have tons of plants that we are going to be using for this build we have some java ferns we have some rotalias we got some horse screw valves some crypts we have some mosses, some booths, some aquarium lilies, some pothos. We have some floating plants. We have tons of plants that we're going to be using for this build today. And we're also going to be using this fluorite dark that's going to help our plants maximize their potential. So first thing I need to do is I already drained the water out of this aquarium. Next thing I need to do is remove all the hardscape out of here and remove this substrate out of here. And then we're going to be replacing it with this fluoride dark and then we'll cap it back with this substrate to give us the look that we want. And then we can start playing with the scape in the plant. So that's the next step. So stick around. Now that we got all the hardscape and most of the substrate out of this aquarium, now it's time to add in our aquarium soil. We're going to be using this Fluorite Dark by Seachem. There's tons of different products on the market. I'm sure you guys know about those. This is by far one of the best of giving your tanks all the supplements and all the nutrients they need to grow and be successful in your aquarium. So we're going to be adding this in here, probably do like a nice small layer across the whole bottom. And then we're going to cap it with the substrate that we just had in there before. So that's the next step. So stick around. So as you see, we got our first thin layer of substrate here. I could leave it just like this and plant right into this substrate and it would do just fine. But the negative side to it is this stuff does break down over time. So it'll eventually turn to like mulch or mud and you really don't want that look in your aquarium. So I'm going to be capping it with some this sand and pebble mix that I have. Before we do that, I want to play with the hardscape a little bit. I have a few pieces of driftwood and some rock. I want to see how I want to bring this thing to life. So that's the next step. So stick around. So as you see, I got the hardscape mocked up how I want. I really like how it's looking. I'm no MD fish tanks, but I think this thing is looking really good. Now it's time to add in our other soil to cap everything and it's going to bring this thing to life. So that's the next step. So stay tuned. Now we got our substrate in, we got our tank scape. Now it's time to start playing with some plants. And like I stated, these are all the plants that we're going to be using on this build. Everything was donated to me by my boy Warrior Planet Tank. So I'm going to leave a link down below to his YouTube channel in the comment section and also a list of all the plants that's being used in this build today. He donated all these plants to me for this build. So I want you guys to go over there, show him some love. He has tons of knowledge when it comes to planted tanks and just shrimp alone. So make sure you guys go check his channel out. But now we finna start placing all these plants in here and really bringing this thing to life. So let's get to it. So as you see, we finally got this thing planted up. There's tons of plants in here. Can't wait to get water in here and really see how this thing is going to look. But as you see, we got the crypts going through the front. We even got some crypts in the middle and in the back as well. We got some rotalia all over here. Should be nice and bushy back over here. And we got this money wart back over in that corner. Then I just put some boost on a couple of the rocks, some boost. We even got some of this uh uh, fern that's here and even got a couple pieces of driftwood in here as well with some moss and some ferns on them and then it's even one back there in the back i don't know if you guys can see it but it's a piece of wood back there with a number of christmas moss on it then we have our bow in the middle so there's tons of plants in here now it's time to get some water into this tank so we can really see how this thing is going to look so that's the next step So it's been about a good 24 hours since we set this aquarium up and as you see this thing is looking good it's still a little smoggy and cloudy because all the substrate that we put in here it made the water like pretty much chocolate milk so i had to give it time to clear up but it's definitely clearing up and i'm sure the next day or so it'll be crystal clear but you can see how everything came out from the scape with the driftwood and the rocks i'm just loving how it's looking right now Got a lot going on. Got quite a few plants in here. Some of the plants aren't looking the greatest, like this Rotalia and this uh, Money War. I think that's Money War back here. 
it's not looking the greatest but i'm sure once everything starts to settle in and i start dosing this aquarium everything is going to start filling in looking really good but i'm liking the crypts you know they're my favorite plants anyways can't go wrong with some crypts and we got like this different types of ferns right here some more fern right here it's just looking good man so now i need to know what fish we add to this aquarium i know i want to do rummy nose tetris because i don't have any of those guys in the fish room so i'm thinking rummy nose tetris and you guys can let me know down in the comment section what other fish we should pick up to go with the rummy nose tetris we might throw some shrimp in here i have some cherry shrimp we might throw some cherry shrimp in here and some rummy noses but i need suggestions down below what fish we should put in here because i really don't know so i'm gonna let you guys decide what fish we're gonna put in this aquarium but let me know in the comment section did we take a w on this setup today i love it it's, it just looks really good to me in my opinion um the plants need to just do a little bit better though like this fern don't look the greatest but you can see it's growing a lot of runners off of it so that's a good thing it's still not dead so that's always a good thing when it's not dead then we got the little flowers up here some little uh, frog bit and then we even got some pothos hanging out the back but that light is just making it really hard to see so got it together let me know what we should do down in the comment section and we still got more tanks we're still gonna redo this one set this tank up we got the 36 down here we got the other 36 go front and then we got our african sigla tank that need a big water change that i'm gonna be doing on this tonight so we still got a lot more to go in this rack system to get together so let me know what else we should do man i don't know what to do with this one i don't know what to do with that one i don't know what to do with that one so i need some suggestions in the comment section but everything else in the fish room is doing great all the fish are healthy I'll take you guys a little walk through real quick so you can see what's going on everybody is healthy down here looking good doing good a lot of these fish are going to be going outside look at all these africans looking for food a lot of these fish are going to be going outside you guys are going to be seeing those videos very soon we got a new 55 gallon back here that was donated to me so we need to clean this thing up and get this tank set up because it got tons of like calcium build up on it so we need to clean that and get that tank set up so let me know what type of fish we should get for this aquarium because we've got more and more aquariums down here to work with look at all these africans down here think about taking these guys outside as well and let them grow out but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's content if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you learned something today make sure you guys let me know in the comment section i hope you can apply this to your planet tank and make your tank looks the greatest look at the oscar over here looking good but yeah that's it catch you guys in the next one i'm out of here